<laughs> so I'm Justin, and today I'll be talking about Earth's soil supply and how it's quickly running out and what that means for mankind. Um, experts fear that at Earth's current pace of consumption, a rough estimate is that the topsoil will run out in around 60 years. Uh, the soil is being lost at between 10 and 40 times the rate that it's being naturally replenished. Soil is living, so if you have a handful of soil, you're actually holding more microorganisms than people who have ever lived on Earth. And these microbes need carbon for food. That the carbon is being taken away from overplowing, uh, the misuse of certain fertilizers by farmers, and overgrazing, which means having too many animals in the same place. Um, degraded soil will mean that we'll produce 30% less food over the next 20 to 50 years. Uh, water will also reach a crisis point. This issue is already affecting a few countries around the world mostly the ones with the highest population. Um, the next wars will probably be fought over unsustainable irrigation. Um, in the same location, moderately degraded soil will hold half the amount of water that healthy soil will. So farmers need their crops to hold the water close to the roots. However, a paper was published saying that nearly half of the sea level rise since 1960 is due to irrigation water flowing straight through the crop and into the sea. Uh, the soil erosion problem will affect the poor countries the most as the food supply shortens, the prices will go up. Um, it will also affect the countries that rely on imports, like Greece, for example. Um, even the richest countries will be affected though because many of the refugees who need to leave their country will have to move to a different country, obviously. Uh, to fix this major problem, we have to first put carbon back into the soil, and this ties to poor farming practices. Uh, farmers need to be rewarded when they regenerate the environment and produce food that promotes a healthier world. Uh, we tend to think of soil as a renewable resource, but the natural renewing of soil is just not even close to the rate in which it's being used. So we need to take action and do what we can stop this problem before it's too late. 